When it's cold outside, nothing warms you up like a nice bowl of pasta. See, looks all delicious here. And before we go any further, if you haven't done so already, please hit the big subscribe button down below and ring that notification bell and choose all notifications so you don't miss out on anything here like the rest of the Robbie P2 family. All right. On with the show. It's your boy Robbie P2 here. So, as always, again, Robbie P2 family, please let's check in down below with a hashtag. And you know what? Hey, welcome to December. So, you guys know what that means here. You know, it's time, it's uh, really about time, you know, to you know, start enjoying, you know, getting that festive spirit. You know, all the holiday festivities starting for this year. And, of course, you know what? Also, it's time I get back uh, into, you know, making some content that I know you guys love here. <laughs> all right. Since, you know, we got winter break from school, I'm and all that. So I think it's time to up the content game. And now, as you can see here, I'm preparing my little salad by putting on these uh, croutons. But all together here, this is the, uh, yeah, we're back at Fazoli's, as you can probably see. And, you know what, decided, I looked on the menu. It's something, I decided to try something new to me, but they've had on the menu for a while. It's, uh, you know, what we're doing, or eventually the main course is going to be the chicken carbonara. Show a little thumbnail. And what that is, is basically, is uh, Vizzoli's take on a classic chicken carbonara, uh, which is another Italian dish, which is... As you as you will see later, this is their spaghetti noodles cooked al dente, and then covered in the homemade Alfredo sauce, and then topped with oven roasted chicken, some Parmesan seared broccoli, and will hand like hand chopped bits of bacon uh, that's chopped fresh, and of course I got mine garnished with some fresh grated parmesan and it looks delicious but you know what i made it a meal so my first course that y'all can come along with me here is you know something that all you always see here We've got the house salad which has the, uh, the iceberg lettuce the cherry tomatoes the radishes uh the uh, shredded cheeses. Of course, I put croutons. And I get a packet of house Italian dressing. I figured, why not? You know, it's an Italian restaurant. And you know what? Here, you, you already, if you go to Fasoli's, you know you get unlimited breadsticks every time you dine in. And they are delicious. All right. But now, let's uh, go ahead and... Let's get this uh, salad done here. I figure, you know, for 2024, some of y'all are in the right track here that maybe I should start eating a little healthier. And to an extent, I figured salads would be a good way to go. 
But, you know, I like to enjoy myself, too. So, this... I'd say the salad is, like... Ideally, not the healthiest, because, yeah, it's got the cheese on it. But it's good, so... Mm -hmm. <clears throat> I mean, if salad's not your thing, if it's only easy, if you want to make it meal, the only other option you have is a slice of pizza. Mm hmm. <laughs> But I figured, you know, Italian will always like salad at the beginning. Mm. It's delicious, you know. Mm. Perfect first course for any meal. But then maybe in twenty four in twenty twenty four you'll see more entree size salads where the salad is the meal. Mm. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. well, there we go. Mm -hmm. Mm I give this salad a perfect 10. And, uh, hmm. And I give it a 10 out of 10. Freshly baked, buttery garlic breadsticks. Mm hmm. Just wonderful. I got root beer to drink, so mug root beer since they now serve Pepsi products. So, been coming to Fazoli's long since they served Coke, or right, I mean Coca Cola products as well. <clears throat> and you know what? Speaking of breadsticks, you know what we got? Just eat one for you guys. <clears throat>
The breadsticks itself themselves are ten out of ten. <laughs> fresh bake, fresh out of the oven. Buttery, garlicky goodness. <laughs> <clears throat> and I think that would go well with the chicken carbonara. <laughs> so you were good. Kaching got it. <laughs> but you know what? <laughs> Hope y'all can see that. Let's try to get y'all down here a little bit. Let's see here. Yeah. Try to get the try to get this in the frame for you. But you know what? Okay, whatever. This is kind of why a lot of these restaurants, you know, give you breadsticks. Let's see. So that, you can use that to help your pasta stay on the fork. And, you know, just twirl the pasta around your fork. And then... <laughs> Well, now somebody commented about the last, the last video I made about Fazoli's. Thank you. I forget who you are, but thank you. So, and mm, let me get a good bite with some uh, everything on there. Hmm. I think I'm saying is Fazol I have never had a dish from Fazoli's that I didn't like or wouldn't recommend getting. It's always been a great a good streak. Fazoli's and I have always been a good streak, and that streak continues. All right, a chicken carbonara. I definitely like the uh, you know, how everything all comes together. Mm. Very nice, you know, fast, casual Italian dish here. Mm. <clears throat> Chicken, it's nice, moist, not rubbery or anything, which is good. It does have some like little Italian spices. That's awesome, though. I mean, fire roasted. Bacon. Definitely tastes the chopped bacon in there. And it's not bacon bits. It's real bacon. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Broccoli definitely... You know, make sure and give it some authentic uh, taste here. And of course, with spaghetti noodles and 
and the Alfredo sauce. Hmm. So, I've only had chicken carbonara from one other restaurant before many years ago <clears throat> on an older channel of mine. I forget the name of that restaurant, but unfortunately it's also out of business. But none of that matters because this is a 10 out of 10. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and it's not bad at all for the price. I think the price, the chicken carbonara itself is like only $10.99. Plus like an extra few dollars to make it a meal by adding the salad and the drink. So... And it's very, very appetizing. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so, excellent job, Fazoli's. All right. <laughs> so, guys, if you guys. If you guys haven't been to Fazoli's before, it is an Italian, like a like a fast casual Italian chain. If you haven't been to one before, you guys need to get to one. All right, <laughs> and just try it out, and tell them your boy Robbie P two sent you. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, especially if you love, if you like pasta like me, which, by the way, is my favorite. It's pretty much, you know, my favorite food is Italian cuisine. So if you love Italian cuisine like me, Fazoli's is your place. <laughs> and especially if you're on a budget, all right? <laughs> so this is the way to go. <laughs> I mean, just love the chicken carbonara. Hmm. <clears throat> And then, just finish the rest for you guys here. Excellent mukbang Monday, by the way. Fazoli's is definitely mukbang worthy, and y'all should know that. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> oh. This is just excellent. Whether you, you know, work hard creating other, creating all kinds of content, or, you know, going to school, or even if you've uh, scored four touchdowns in a single game to win state championship, this is excellent, very, you know, rewarding. Mm hmm. Mm. That breadstick is awesome, too. <laughs> Especially when soaked in the sauce. <laughs> so. 
Mm. Mm. So it's an excellent chicken carbonara. Mm. And uh, of course, if you want some, if you want something that doesn't have like all these ingredients here, but still has like chicken and Alfredo sauce. Uh, I have. I also recommend the chicken Alfredo. <laughs> or matter of fact, if you want something that's like what I just showed you here, but has the fettuccine noodles. Then you guys gotta try the loaded chicken Alfredo as well here. But all in all, again, chicken carbonara, 10 out of 10. <laughs> Spaghetti noodles, Alfredo, just chicken and bacon goodness. Chicken, bacon, broccoli goodness. <laughs> That's a mm. <clears throat> it's all together. This is awesome. And I'm glad to share it with you guys here on YouTube. <laughs> and if you guys want mine, please also feel free to hit the share button, share this out. On all your social media, because by end of 2023, we're we'll get to 20,000, get to at least 20,000 subscribers. It's a goal. All right, and uh, that's about it. So, also, don't forget, you know, if you want to open up the little description, hit the little drop down arrow, or however YouTube has it now. So that this way, hey, you can reach out to me if you're interested in doing like a like a food or beverage collaboration or have a request. My information for my email, Instagram, and X, yeah, formerly Twitter, will be there. And so also will be links to the Robbie P2 merch shop. I mean, fan shop. So you get all kinds of Robbie P2 souvenirs. You know, makes uh, good uh, holiday presents. I suggest ordering now. And then you can also request a holiday shout out from me on Cameo. As well, here you got some personalized thing. Starts about $20. All right. And that's about it. So, cheers to you guys. And uh, as always, stay happy, stay safe, stay positive. It's your boy, Robbie P2 out. What? Why are you guys still here? What are you waiting for me to go live? 
Oh. What are you also waiting for? What are you waiting for me to go live? Sorry to tell you folks, it's not going to happen. Oh, wait a minute. Hmm. Maybe wait, maybe wondering, could there be a dessert course? Well, who knows, you know? Go, you know? <laughs> You're still here. Ready for live stream? Uh, sorry, I figured, you know, got all got the drama off the channel. I know what y'all miss some drama. And, uh, you know, we're just not going to do that anymore. Oh, the dessert thing. Well, hey, you know, I figured I still had one more birthday freebie coupon. Also with Fazoli, so let's use it on a slice of uh, New York strawberry cheesecake. And this is from... Uh, well, from Fazoli's partnership with the Cheesecake Factory. Let's see, <laughs> that's what it looks like here. That's a bonus. So now let's go ahead and give it a try. Mm. I must be a golden girl because I definitely like cheesecake, you know? Like, who doesn't? Especially with some strawberries on it, though. Mm hmm. Mm. And the graham cracker crust on the bottom is just amazing. <laughs> so this gets a 10 out of 10 as well. Just delicious. And I thank y'all for giving me the opportunity to share this with you guys. Mm -hmm. And I thank you all, the viewers, the Robbie P2 family again, you know, for being my friends and supporters. Thank you for being my friends. The ones who travel, who travel down the road and back again. Your hearts are true. You are all pals and confidants. I mean, confidants. And if there ever was a party, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. all right. So let's see. You would see the biggest gift would be for me, and the card attached would say, "Thank you for being my friends." All right. Thank you. Hobby P two out.